Hello everyone, today I'm going to be helping you find the perfect hair system by identifying the different hair types to ensure that you get the best possible match for your natural hair on the side. Now this video is targeted for people who are experiencing hair loss and are interested in looking at non-surgical options. It will also be covering the different hair types, be it straight, wavy, curly or coiled, anything like that we're going to be talking about it today. Also hair system professionals or just ordinary stylists who are interested in getting the perfect match for their clients and just more generally people who are interested in hair loss solutions. Now, before we dive into this topic, these videos would not be possible without today's sponsor. Today's sponsor, guys, is Livivid. You can find them at livividhair.com. You can get a 15% discount code on any stock hair system or accessories that I've negotiated with them just for you guys. It's Adam15. All the information is in the description box below this video if you want high quality hair systems with good shipping times and top customer service, consider Livivid. So a big thanks to Leviv for sponsoring this video. If it wasn't for partnerships like these, I wouldn't be able to make as much free content for you guys. So do consider that 15% discount. So first off the bat, we're going to be talking about different hair types available within the hair system industry, just to give you an outline of the different types and what might be most suitable for you. We're going to look at the pros, we're going to look at the cons, and I'm going to help you make your own decisions based off of that. Now the first and most common hair type is Asian hair. If you've been wearing hair systems for a while, there's a pretty decent chance that you've had at least one system with Asian hair. This is the most used in the industry. It usually comes from places like China, India, Malaysia, places like that. It's usually quite a bit cheaper than other hair types. However, it is very, very heavily processed. It's dyed, it's bleached, it's put in an acid bath, and that generally means, even though it's cheaper, it doesn't last as long. It tends to develop brassy, gingerish undertones a lot quicker than other hair types. So that's really important to consider if you're gonna go for this type of hair. Next, we're gonna talk about Remy hair. Now, Remy hair is what Levivid offers. The majority of their hair systems are Indian Remy hair. So what is Remy hair? Remy is human hair that's been very carefully collected to ensure the cuticles are still intact and it reduces the amount of tangling and it's much better quality than Asian hair. So the pros are that it's high quality, it's long lasting, the hair is smooth and it's less processed. It also reduces tangling because all of the cuticles are going in one way. So if you've received a hair system and the hair feels really quite smooth when you first get it, that is Remy hair. The system that I'm wearing right now, this is Remy hair, Indian Remy hair, and it's about three months old so far. Now the cons come down to cost. So it's more expensive than non Remy hair, even though it lasts longer, even though it takes a lot longer for those brassy undertones to develop. So if you're operating on a really strict budget, Remy hair might not be for you. Another con is that it has been processed to an extent. So for instance, Levivid, it's mostly Indian Remy hair. So if you've got lighter hair shades like me, it will have been processed to an extent to get the right color. Now the third type of hair that you can get in a hair system is European hair. Now European hair is renowned as being the most expensive. But there's some really, really good reasons for that. So it's usually not processed at all. It's usually referred to as virgin European hair. So basically the hair that you receive is the hair as it comes. It hasn't been processed, it hasn't been bleached, it hasn't been dyed. As a result, it gives you a really natural look and feel. It lasts a really, really long time and it's really suitable if you are of Caucasian extraction, if you are European or if you are in America and you're sort of light skinned, you've got lighter hair. Yes, this is ideally the perfect kind of hair for you. The cons are that it's actually quite hard to get hold of. You don't find every vendor selling European hair. Actually, only a very few of them do. As a result of that, it's more expensive than pretty much any hair on the market. Despite the fact that it lasts longer, 
it does come with a higher expense. If you're looking for an example of European version hair, the Adrian by La Vivid is a really, really good one. It's my next system. I cannot wait to try it out. I'm really interested to see how long I get out of it. It's a Swiss lace base. They also do a poly one as well. So make sure you're following this channel to see updates in real time on how that system is getting on. At this point, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. If you're enjoying my content, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel grow. It helps more people find this content. Now onto synthetic hair. Now, personally, I don't really recommend synthetic hair. I know that it's a lot more common in the sort of women's full cap wigs or even women's hair systems industry, but in men's hair systems, it's, it's really quite rare. And the only time I've ever come across it is for greys. So if you opt to have greys in your hair system, chances are that they will be synthetic. That's because it's really hard to dye human hair grey. Now, if you were looking to get a full synthetic hair system, yes, it's low cost. Yes, it's low maintenance. Yes, it can hold styles better than human hair. However, they really don't last very long at all. Also, the look just isn't natural and it's very hard to find synthetic hair that is actually heat resistant. So if you're blow drying, it ain't going to look great, guys. It will not look good at all. So I really don't recommend it. So based off of those factors, I think that's a really important starting point. Assess what your natural hair looks like. Assess your budget and assess how natural you want the hair system to blend with your natural hair. Obviously, as I mentioned a second ago, budget does come into this. And there's some absolutely excellent Indian Remy hair that basically matches with all types of Caucasian hair. So personally, if it was me, I'll be going for that. I usually go for the Indian Remy hair. Next, we're gonna look at curls and waves and straight hair, okay? So this is the second part of the video where we're gonna be looking at hair styles and comparing it against what your hair style is with your natural hair. Now, the first and the most obvious one is straight hair. So I'm gonna take you over to my laptop now and we're gonna look at for instance, straight hair. So this is the Adrian European hair, uh, the Virgin European hair. There's a little picture of me there. <laughs> and as you can see, curl and wave, so it's straight hair. So it will come to you. It's not curly, it's not wavy, it's just straight hair. So if you've got really straight hair, this might be one you want to consider. It's also really good for if you've got long, if you want long straight hair, it's really worth considering. Next, we're going to look at a type of hair that is actually naturally quite wavy, even though it's sort of hardly looks wavy at all. It's actually the hair system that I'm wearing right now. So this is the coyus. As you can see, the model here it is slightly wavy at the front if you sort of decide to have it a bit longer. But it's always worth checking the features. Always look for curl and wave. So as you can see here, there's a slight wave. So 30 millimeter rod size. I don't know what that means. But the system that I'm wearing, yes, it's slightly wavy. I have slightly wavy side hair, so it kind of works quite well, especially if I wanna grow it a little bit longer. Now with the Helios, which is a Swiss lace, again, it's a slight wave, so it's a very, very light wave. If you've got straight hair, you can absolutely go for a Helios Swiss lace. You can absolutely go for a Coyus, uh, poly base. Both of those are absolutely fine. The wave is so, so minimal. It actually makes your hair appear more natural. Now, one more hair type that we're gonna look at, because this is really important, guys. You wanna get this right. With You can get curly hair systems. So, for instance, the one that Levivid do is called the Adam, if I can actually find it. Here we go. Now, I'm seriously thinking of getting this. Not that I've got curly hair, because I don't, but if you cut it short enough on the sides and you cut it fairly short on top, it can look really cool. And that's quite in vogue right now. So it's, it's a system I'm really considering getting because I think it looks awesome. You don't necessarily need curly hair on the side. It can still work on top as long as it's short enough. If you have naturally really curly hair and you want to keep that look, this could be the perfect system for you. Now, lastly, in terms of hair types, we're gonna look at the customs. Custom hair systems are really, really important. They play a very, very important role within the industry, especially if you're looking for a really tailor-made approach. And here you can actually select what hair type you want. So you can decide what hair type you want, but also what hair style. So you can decide on a European hair, you can decide on Remy hair, which is 
what this hair system is. You can also decide whether you want it straight, do you want it curly, do you want it wavy? That's why so many people like custom hair systems. If you're looking for something really tailor-made, this is the option to go for. Now guys, lastly, before I summarize everything, we need to consider maintenance and care tips because every single different type of hair requires a different type of maintenance. If you're going the European route, you will need to take a bit more care because naturally the hair is gonna be slightly thinner. The density won't be quite what you have with an Indian Remy hair, for instance. So you'll probably need to spend a little bit more time using some argan oil in the morning, being a little bit more conscientious around your hair system and taking better care of it. Also, you've spent more money on it, so it makes more sense to take more care of it. If you decide to go the Asian hair route, make sure that you don't wash it much at all because it will it will bleach back to its original color you'll develop those it will develop those brassy undertones a lot quicker than for instance european hair or remy hair so you'll need to be a bit more mindful of that also when it comes to asian hair and even remy hair after about four to five months it does get drier so you'll need to be mindful of ensuring that you're getting some really good product in there use a good quality shampoo use a good quality conditioner all of this stuff is in my description box below make sure you use a good quality leave-in conditioner daily if it has argan oil in it perfect so in summary we've broken this down into three sections if you're looking to get the best hair system to suit the hair on your sides so the first factor to consider is what type of hair do you want do you want to go european do you want to go asian do you want to go remy the second factor to consider is is your hair on the side straight is it curly is it wavy again really important to consider this and it's really important to remember that the wavy ones with a slight wave you can really get away with that if you have straight hair unless you want to grow it super long and don't forget if you you really want a very very tailored hair system just your specifications consider getting a custom hair system it takes longer to manufacture but generally in my experience it's better quality and the third factor to consider is maintenance and care tips some of these hair types some of these styles do require more maintenance if you've got a really curly hair system it does require more maintenance than one that is straight it, it will tangle a bit more you might need to wash it a bit more all of these things are really really worth considering i think the overarching lesson to take from this is make sure you've got what your budget in mind is and make sure how long you want to get out of the hair system but also consider how much time do you have for maintenance when you've weighed up those three factors i think you'll be able to get to a really firm conclusion on what type of hair system on what hair type what hairstyle you will go for and i'm here to help and guide you too let me know in the comments box below guys what you think your next system might be it'd be really interesting to hear if you've got any questions as well i aim to engage with every single person who comments under my videos and i'll speak to you very soon